due to my shoulder injury that I had occurred many years ago. Uh, 12 weeks out of the Olympia, I decided to you know, try some new concept. So for this year's Olympia, I really didn't lift weights. All I was doing is doing isotension, basically squeezing muscle while I'm lifting weights. You see, throughout the 19 years of my bodybuilding career, I experimented with any kind of training. And I found something that is very interesting. Uh, if you use machine, for example, contrary to beliefs of all the old timers, all the champions that say only free weight build muscle, I think that if you can hardly perform, let's say six repetitions to your max physical and mental ability on machines, you can actually stimulate muscle more than doing this with the free weights. The reason being is <clears throat> the machines are constructed like this, they can isolate a particular muscle group. Free weights, contrary to that, use a lot of stabilizing and neutralizing muscles. So <clears throat> besides primary muscle group, you use a lot of secondary. So if you fail on six repetitions, let's say doing a free weights, you know, it's not just the pectoralis muscle, for example, if I'm doing chest that failed, <clears throat> but all the supporting muscles like front, delt, side, delt, triceps and so on. Ugh. If you're doing a, a machine and you fail on six repetitions, by doing isolation movement, most likely you're going to stimulate Ugh. more of a white muscle Ugh. fibers on your pectoralis. Well, this is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, if I was lifting weights, I can usually do stack of 330 pounds for about 20 repetitions. This time I was going just by feeling the muscle squeezing, contracting, and I failed on a sixth rep. Uh, I also want to mention that uh, this year, uh, thankfully, flex equipment moved to my hometown, Temecula. I had a chance to work on a lot of flex equipment, and I used them basically for my whole Olympic preparation. This is a flex incline press, and this is one of my favorites. It really, really hits upper chest you know, to the max. So after I performed that one set to the max, I would try to drop the weight and perform higher rep set in the same manner. Again, this is the, this is lifting. This is contracted. <laughs> there is that saying, no pain, no gain. I would like to believe there is a great possibility to make great gains without actual pain. And uh, in the last three years, actually, of my career, where I've made much progress, you know, I trained pretty much in similar matter, maybe not exactly like to this Olympia. And maybe res results are gonna actually prove me wrong or right, but I really honestly believe that uh, squeezing the muscle, you know, beats with lifting weights any day. So here, same, my whole concept in doing this exercise is contracting the pecs muscles. Maybe I can demonstrate this better by taking a straight up. So here, my goal is not to lift weights again, just to squeeze my pecs. Again, throughout the years, I had a lot of personal clients that I was training, and I gave them this concept, and I can swear every single one of them trained this way with very great success. Again, many bodybuilders really lift weights for the sake of lifting. And I said this many times, if they just want to do physical work, you know, do construction, be paid for it, you know. If you want to spend energy, there's many other ways to spend it. If you want to work your muscles out, you really have to be focused 100% on that particular muscle. The targeting muscle should be squeezing in every repetition as hard as you possibly can. Yeah. Okay. This is one of my very favorite chest exercises close to the contest is Really, this brings out definition striations. It's cable crossover that I believe everybody's familiar with. Again, my main concept here is to forget about weight that I'm lifting. 
and just keep contracting. Normally, when somebody trains, especially 10 days away from Olympia, you can't really hold conversation in between sets. But this kind of training really doesn't exhort you that much. But you're gonna get this incredible pump, and the uh, very next day, I promise you, you're gonna have a soreness of your life. After experiencing that a few times, I decided to really give a try for a full 12 week preparation for this Olympia. And I can't wait to step on the stage and hear the uh, experts you know, discussing my, about my physique if I did in fact improve or I didn't come in shape. As this is gonna either prove or demand my theory of really isotension lifting, not really you know, lifting weights. Olympia is going to be over by the time everybody is going to be watching this tape. I can say just a few days ago I had a chance and pleasure to see Ronnie Coleman and Nasser or somebody. And as you've seen today, Sean Ray, I can tell you all three guys is in phenomenal shape. It's going to be best Olympia ever. Uh, I believe that Ronnie is going to win again as what I've seen three days ago is just outstanding. If anybody can believe at this stage, he did make considerable improvements, even in muscle mass. Uh, his teeny tiny arms are even bigger now, so you can just imagine what that looks like. And back double biceps, I don't think it's gonna be beaten ever. It's the best back double biceps of all times. So, my pick for this year's Olympia is Ronnie. I haven't seen Flex, and Flex physique is uh, one of my favorite physiques, but really, as good as, as Flex can be, I don't think it can beat Ronnie. The best exercise for abs. I was preaching this for many years. I really believe in order to get the great abs, you have to make them deep. Any stretching move, like hanging leg raises, maybe cable crunches would do that. All the other sit-ups, crunches, and so on would just build up the waist and make your waist look thicker. So as you can see here, as I hang, my body weight pulls me down, so it creates a bit deeper gap between abs. And I would highly, highly suggest this to everyone. If you want to get deep abs, do this. Now, of course, if you can do too many reps in the beginning, don't worry about it. Strength comes very, very fast. Another thing is, again, important, stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze on every rep. You know, most of the people are doing legs all the way through, even a week before the show, which I did in the beginning of my career. And then fortunately, I had a chance to go to the European tour. Then for six weeks, I didn't train my legs at all. Interestingly, six weeks later, my legs were more shredded more defined and they didn't lose any size. And I contribute this from not really training them heavy, bringing all that blood in. And therefore, you know, they really, you know, get more defined and create all those striations. So ever since then, I really never trained my legs two weeks out. Also my little secret is, if you see, I'm rotating my foot a little bit. And I believe that creates this separation much more than going just straight. Coming for a taping of this battle for the Olympia, they know they're going to expose at the end, and then they don't bring the posing trains. I don't know if they like to show off their underwear, or they're hoping for a, you know, Kevin Klein. But I would say, if you're going to pose, be ready for it. I would like to say that uh, since June 1st, I became a proud owner of uh, Powerhouse Jim Fullerton. Myself and my partner, Mike Bacolnis, 
took over a lot of top professionals already training here. I would like to mention John Brown, one of my idols. The reason why I became a professional bodybuilder is John Brown was a guest poser in Yugoslavia back in 1983, and after seeing him perform, you know, I decided this is what I want to do. So John is here training basically every day. Uh, Melvin Anthony, new pro, Tom Prince, you know, needless to say, Sean Ray, he's been training in this gym for years. Thank to the support of uh, family Dabish. I want to say that uh, I really want to thank Will and Noam Dabish for giving me this opportunity to be part of their family. Uh, second thing that I would like to mention is uh, uh, really flex equipment. Uh, all the crew, Borco, Mark, Dan Block, they were all really behind us. Sean Ray in particular and uh, myself, they're helping us out with this gym. And for this uh, preparation for this Olympia, as I said, I didn't really use free weights. I mostly rely on uh, flex equipment and I would like to give them a credit for that. I just want to mention that uh, anybody that is in Orange County, please come visit us here. If you want to do you know, good, serious training, this is the place. We open 24 hours a day. They can contact me here in uh, Powerhouse Fullerton. Phone number is known 714-680-8881. Uh, as I did 65 pro shows, you know, I had so many things to say and to teach uh, people that are interested about different techniques for cab loading, sodium depletion, and so on. So, call me.